Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and I know it's been about a week since I uploaded anything, but I wanted to get a pretty good feel for Cold War before I really started to dive into it and make any content. And I know that's a little counterintuitive, you think I want to get it out as fast as I can, but it took me just a little while to uh, get a good feel for the game, and two videos that I would recommend uh, about this are both by uh, the YouTuber called The Exclusive Ace. He did a video on... Uh, aim assist and he did a video on controller settings and I highly highly recommend both of those videos helped me out quite a bit especially the controller settings to figure out why it didn't feel quite as responsive as it should so uh, take take a look at those if you would alright so today we're gonna take a look at how hard the camo grind should be for uh, Black Ops Cold War so we're just going to take a look at a couple of examples and give you a couple reasons why I think it should be a good year for this. Um, I could be dead wrong, I could run into issues with it, but uh, so far it looks like it should not be too bad. So let's take a look real quick. The nice thing is you can, take a, you can uh, kind of preview any of the camos, uh, even all the way down here to Gold, Diamond, and DM Ultra. This is the... Damascus, the dark matter of this game. There, of course, could be other camos added later uh, that are challenge based, similar to the way they did uh, the obsidian camos in Modern Warfare. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. We we're just barely into the life cycle of this game, so who knows what's coming down the pipeline. One of the things I'm hoping for are reactive camos, and of course, this one being animated, that. Uh, could point towards those coming at some point and that'll be of course more videos for me so uh, let's just scroll through some of these challenges and see how it goes now similar to modern warfare the camo ch challenges are unlocked based on your weapon level um, and also similar there's multiple in each category so let's take a look here so the first one is of course kills and at least for the SMGs 300 kills uh, in multiplayer, which is not too bad. The next one is headshots. Luckily, unlike Black Ops 4, you don't have to get 100 headshots before you unlock any of your other camo challenges. So that is one of the nice things that's improved and one of the reasons why I think it's going to be a little bit easier this year than the year before last. Uh, next up, uh, bloodthirsties. 20 bloodthirsties. Now again, shouldn't be too difficult once you unlock that challenge uh, 50 long shots again pretty standard 75 kills on enemies detected stunned or blinded by your score streaks equipment or field upgrades it's a pretty broad range of things so if you're calling in those spy planes you shouldn't have any trouble completing that one either uh, next up point blank kills so this one you may struggle with a little bit just because of the map design uh, so far, most of the maps are pretty good size, but there are some nice tight corners you can play in, so uh, definitely could be a little bit of a challenge to complete, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then double kills, 25 double kills with an SMG, which again, shouldn't be too difficult, and that'll get you your gold camo. So a couple of things that are missing there that we normally see are five attachments or maximum number of attachments. Um, no attachments, crouch kills or prone kills, and of course, from Modern Warfare, mounted kills, since you can't mount in this game. So, you can, I feel like this gives you a lot more freedom to play how you want to play, uh, and still complete your camo challenges. You're not having to crouch all the time, you're not having to lay down or mount on an objective or anything like that. Uh, or run no attachments, or however many attachments you want. So, uh, definitely going to be a little bit easier on that front. I think the biggest grind for this is going to be leveling your weapons all the way up. As you can see here, the last set unlocks at level 50 for the weapon, so similar to Modern Warfare. So I think that's going to be the biggest part of the grind this year. Uh, another thing that might make it a little bit easier is whenever we take a look at the weapons. Now, uh, we've got a decent number of assault rifles. I think that's five of them there. Five SMGs, four tactical rifles, three LMGs, and three snipers. 
pretty standard numbers here, give or take one or two. It's not a big deal there, just on numbers. However, whenever we go into secondaries, you can see we've only got two shotguns and three pistols. Now, again, this will change through the, through the life cycle of the game. However, you can unlock that DM Ultra, I'm pretty positive, by just getting the base weapons uh, gold, similar again to Modern Warfare or Black Ops 4. Only two launchers this year, and again, they may add more. I guess you could technically say three. Uh, with this grenade launcher here, and one knife. No riot shield this year, <laughs> so you won't see me struggling with that. Um, so anyways, I thought I'd make this video real quick just to give you kind of a preview of uh, the sort of thing we're going to be working. If you've got any suggestions as to what weapon you want to see me start with, let me know. And then one quick tip before we go, if you're planning on doing what I do and trying to get to max prestige, uh, then as soon as you unlock a gun, throw it on a class. So you'll notice as I scroll through here, this is the latest assault rifle that I've got. And this is the latest sniper. This up here is the latest SMG. So I'm trying to constantly be using the newest guns so I can have some playtime with them. If I focus down on, let's say, the M4 and the AK, then I'm going to be having to use guns that I've already got gold whenever I prestige, and I don't really want to do that. So just a quick tip in there, and I know most of that's pretty well common sense, but I uh, thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, another little preview of things to come. Let me scroll down here to this class that has the revolver on it. I'm going to be bringing back my uh, little realism series where I take a look from a perspective of someone who knows firearms pretty well and can look at a little bit of realism in the attachment choices and some of that. Here's just a, a, a quick uh, preview. If you're not a gun person, this may mean nothing to you, but uh, <laughs> if you know what you're looking at, you're probably face palming with this one right here. And leaving you with that, this is Stonewall signing off, and I'll catch you in another video.